Alright guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about a budget option for a parking lot strap and trailer that you can get. Uh, the trailer that you're looking at is actually a 5x8 uh, competitor, I guess. Um, all of the trailers that I've been finding on Marketplace or Craigslist or any place for that matter for a trailer of this size that's relatively new is like 2,500, three grand. And I needed a trailer set up, but I kind of was shopping around for a while. Anyways, I made a post on Facebook and somebody that I go to church with actually, ironically enough, had a trailer. The only thing that it needed was a set of new wheels. So I got this trailer for about $1,100. Pretty nice setup. Tires are brand new, as you can see the tread right there. And it's not that old. I mean, it's not rusting. You don't see any rust around these bolts or anything like that. So it looks like a pretty good setup. Of course, I haven't got a tag for it. But I guess it just depends on where you're at. Let me show you inside. So for me, a five by eight is the perfect option because we are running two striping machines now. And I haven't got my stencils all hung up, but for today, we're just taking a handicap stencil. But we got some paint in the nose. And of course, we got the Titan 3500 and the Graco 3400. So since we're running two machines right now, this trailer is the perfect size for us. And of course we started with one machine put in the back of the truck. We've since grown uh, and had a phenomenal year. But as you can see, there's still a lot of room left for some paint. And there's actually some paint in the nose right there. My main concern was that I could haul two machines. And this trailer is definitely going to get the job done. Got it for about $1,100, which was a phenomenal deal. And you could see like on the inside, I mean, it's almost like it's, it's almost like it's still brand new. It's like somebody bought it and then never used it. But I like it. It's nice. It's not too big and the storage isn't that difficult at all. I could just unlatch it. The storage isn't too difficult at all. I can unlatch it and I can pick this trailer up and move it myself. So it's not too heavy. It's really the perfect setup. So not too complicated, fits two machines and it definitely does what I need it to do. Anyways. Just wanted to show you guys a budget trailer system. Um, I don't know if some of you guys may be on four, five, six machines, but right now we're running two, so this is the perfect size for me. If we did add another machine, uh, a smaller one, I'm not saying that we will, but if we did add another machine, the only thing that would probably fit in there is the 850. So Max, you could probably fit two full-size machines and then like an 850 right there or something. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool setup. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you're subscribed to the channel, we wanted to say how much we appreciate your uh, support for the channel. Uh, if Don't forget to leave a like and comment in the video. What's your setup? What's your setup? Are you a 7 by 14 let me know down in the comment section what your trailer setup is, how many machines you're running. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.